Hey, thanks for hanging with the Mechanic Ninja. Today I'm gonna to show you how to change the oil in your snowblower. This is very simple. I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. One way is a lot easier than the other, so let's get started. This is a eight horsepower Tecumseh engine on a 27 inch snowblower. And the, what is the brand on this one? I can't see the brand. Anyways, it's a big snowblower, nice snowblower, so let's get started. Okay. I'm going to show you the hard way to do it first. If you do not have a um, pump, what you're going to do is right over here on the engine on the side. You see that little tube coming out the side? This tube right here is the drain plug for your snowblower. Get a wrench that fits that. Looks like about a half inch on mine. Your drain plug may be in the back, it may be on the other side. It just all depends on what snowblower setup you have. All you got to do is Make sure that you have some kind of drain pan or some kind of funnel to put underneath this to lead the oil where it needs to go. You need to catch it in a good catch basin and you need to dispose of it correctly. Most of your auto parts stores will take the used oil. So first things first, find you an oil pan. If it goes over here, you gotta find something that you can funnel the, the oil over to your catch basin with. Once you have all that, you have your catch basin, you have your funnel that's going to take it to the catch basin, go ahead and take your open-ended wrench and unscrew that nut on the, on the end. When you get that out, it's gonna drain all of your oil in. Just let it sit there and drain, drain, drain. Another thing, you wanna pop this open. The check, the oil check, you want to pop that open so that it is able to breathe and it'll drain a lot better. Once it's all done getting drained, go ahead and put your nut back on and all you want to do is put it is snug, okay? So for those of you doing it that way, that is really quite easy and simple. Um, another thing, you kind of want to let your engine run for maybe one or two minutes before you change the oil just to uh, get your oil a little warmer, it comes out a little better, okay? Those of you that are going to be getting into doing this full time as a job or doing it on the side, you want to get one of these. Let me, this is a fluid extractor pump. These make your life super, super easy. Go ahead and grab your rag. You're gonna pull out this. And just go ahead and set that right there. Take your fluid extractor tube and send it down right here. Go very slow. Go until you come to the bottom there and just start pumping. As you can see, the oil is coming up and out of that engine. Super easy. When you're taking it out, the first way that I showed you, there is a chance and potential for a mess. With this, it is so nice and slick. You just pump that oil out of there and you have little to no mess. When you're doing these kinds of things, anything that has to do with working on small engines, make sure you're wearing safety glasses and also make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. And I highly recommend wearing nitro gloves. So go ahead and just keep pumping so you get all that oil out. Keep pumping, keep pumping. Super simple. This makes your life easy, whether you're working on a lawnmower, a snowblower, any small engine for the most part. This will save your life and save you tons of time. Okay, I don't know what state you're in, but you definitely want to check with your local small engine shop or look up the specs on your particular machine. The make and model number are usually on the back. Right, right here or under here. Look it up, see what type of oil your machine takes. Go buy that from the store. And then I'm gonna keep pumping this out. I am almost there. Okay. okay, if you're using one of these extractor pumps, go ahead and go like that, put it back in its catch thing, and voila, you are done taking the oil out. That's usually the, the longest part of changing the oil. Go ahead and grab your funnel and your correct oil for your machine. 
These machines do not take a whole ton of oil. So you want to go very slow as you're putting this in. I had some leftover 5W30, which is what my machine takes. Synthetic oil. So I'm just going to use that. I don't have to buy new. I'm going to go ahead and just put in... Oh, oh, there's a good example. Go very slow or you'll have an overfill like I just did. Just go very slow. Very, very slow. I'm glad I did that on video so you can see what not to do. Okay. Let that drain down in there. Set your oil somewhere you're not going to tip it over. Go ahead and wipe up your mess if you made one like me. Silly, silly, any better. Okay. Okay. What I usually do is set my funnel inside my oil container. Just grab your dipstick, send it down in there. See where you're at on that. I am definitely super low, but again, this is not a fast race you're running. You want to go slow because you do not want to overfill it and have to do this again. Have to drain it and then try again. You do not want to do that. Believe me, I've done that. And it's not fun repeating what you've already done. Okay? Again, put it in there. Now, you can see on here, mine says you have your add line, you have your full line. You want to be somewhere within the middle of those where it says okay. Don't get it all the way up to the full line yet, if you're one of those people that loves to go to the full. Because we want to start this machine now. Make sure that you can see it on the dipstick and that you're either in the okay, I would recommend being in the okay. And then go ahead and start your machine. You want that oil to move around in your machine and then we want to check it again. So go ahead and start your machine. For about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and I'm going to check this again. Okay, I'm still below the line. So, but we know that the engine moved all that lubricant around, so now we can just go directly off of the dipstick and trust it now. So I'm just going to add little by little because I do not want to overfill this thing. Okay, I'm pretty happy with it there. I'm in the okay line. I'm going to call it good. Um, I might run it again for maybe one or two minutes now and then check it again. I like to overcheck my engine oil because there's nothing worse than having a blown engine and blowing your engine because lack of oil. I hope this video was helpful. Super easy and simple to change the oil in your machine. Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out. You guys have a great day.